So guys, what we're gonna do is look at toaster bar. It's one of the things that's in today's workout and a common fault that we kind of have it is the dead fish sort of flap around thing, which you've probably just seen in the opener. So what we're gonna do is gonna break it down just into a couple of sections to understand why that happens in the first place and how to correct it, okay? So when we're looking at the toaster bar, we wanna think about the main thing that we're thinking and processing is our rhythm. So keeping that kick and that pulse. The area which gets the biggest change of direction is the midsection or from the hips. So this is where we need to focus on. Don't focus so much on your toes, which is where people go wrong and they fling their feet round. Stems from the middle. First thing you're gonna do is imagine a line running straight down from the rig. So if you're underneath it, it's nice and easy because it's the upright. If we're going off the higher bar, you wanna think straight down the middle. When you come up to that hollow body position, you're just gonna pulse either side of that imaginary line that you've created. So now if the line's coming down, my torso is changing direction forward and back either side of the line, that's where the majority of the change is happening. As we go into any variation, so if you're thinking from a knees past parallel, so bringing that knee up, knees to chest, knees to elbows, toes to bar, whatever, you wanna make sure that you're still following that same pulse and that same principle of my knees come up when my hips are the right side of the vertical. So, putting it into a knees past parallel, Knees come up as I'm on that backswing. Okay, you've got to be able to keep that same tempo. If we look at it from a toaster bar, it's the same thing. You still got to keep that good positioning. Legs come up and kick out towards the bar and coming back down. So that keeps that nice rhythm. Okay? If you find yourself getting up to that top position, and then going into a pendulum, the reason for that is because you've held it too long, your hips have swung past that imaginary upline, and you'll go into that pendulum. So I develop my rhythm, and I'm into that pendulum straight away because my hips have passed the upright. Okay, hope you found that useful, guys. If you like the content, please comment, share, and all that sort of stuff. If there's another movement that you want us to look at, then let us know below and I will see you next week when I'm less out of breath from doing three toes to bar. See ya.